Welcome to the lesson of temperature transducer. In this lesson, we would be seeing the construction and working principle of RTD and the advantages and disadvantages of RTD. Let's start with the definition of temperature itself. It is the measure of warmth or coldness of an object with reference to some standard value. The important thing here being the standard value. Now can you think about some standard value regarding temperature? Correct. Those are the Fahrenheit and the Celsius which you know. For example, we know that the melting ice temperature in Fahrenheit scale is 32 degrees or the boiling water temperature in Celsius scale is 100 degrees. It was followed by the Kelvin scale. Today we will be seeing in detail about the RTD. Consider an example of a microwave where we have set a specific temperature. To monitor the internal temperature, we have the RTD fitted inside it, which is shown in the figure. This will sense the internal temperature and the controlling unit maintains the temperature inside the microwave. The RTD capitalizes on the fact that the resistance of the pure conductor varies with temperature change. To approximate the RTD curve, it is given by the calendar van Dusen equation. It states that RT equals to R0 1 plus alpha T minus T0 plus beta into T minus T0 whole square plus such further terms. Where RT is the resistance at T, T degree Celsius. R0 is the resistance at 0 degree Celsius. Alpha and beta are the constants for the metal used. The higher order constants of this equation can be neglected because the values are smaller than alpha and hence the equation becomes RT equals to R0 into 1 plus alpha into delta T. This is the symbol of the RTT detector and this is how it practically looks. The conductor material used for RTD should possess high resistivity so that minimum volume is required for manufacturing. These are some of the metals which are usually used for manufacturing of RTD. The noble metal platinum is used because it does not oxidize with the material we are testing the temperature with. It also withstands a very high temperature range. Let's look at the resistive, resistance temperature characteristics. Here you can see that platinum has a very linear characteristics whereas copper and nickel are completely non-linear and that's the reason why nickel RTDs are very small range and are very cheap. We also have tungsten represented by the red line which is also a linear characteristics but as you can observe it lies below platinum that is its purity is lesser than platinum and it is very brittle to work with. Gold and silver also are two materials. Let's start with the construction of RTD. There are two ways in which they are manufactured. One is the wire RTD and second is the film RTD. Let's start with the wire RTD. This is the classical RTD which was proposed by C.H. Hare in 1932. It has a helical coil of platinum wound on a crossed mica base. The mica is used for electrical insulation. It was initially covered with a glass capillary. Nowadays it is covered with a stainless steel capillary which withstands high pressures. Next is the film RTD. These film RTD consist of thin metal film that is silk screened on a ceramic sub substrate. These sensors are less accurate but are inexpensive and available in smaller size. To know how to use this RTD in actual sensing, we need to know the basic circuit to measure the value. RTD is a passive transducer. So to measure the change in resistance value with respect to temperature, we require a simplest circuit which is the bridge circuit to measure the change in temperature. Now let's look at what is a bridge circuit. A bridge circuit is a simple circuit for measuring an unknown resistance by connecting it to the three known resistance in the circuit and giving a voltage source. 
by supplying the constant electric current and measuring the voltage the rtd resistance can be calculated now rtds are resistive devices so the lead resistance directly affects the accuracy the error can be quite large and hence we have these three connections which are available one is the two wire connection wherein there is no compensation in three wire connection we have one wire which will go to ground or neutral and the two wires will be used for the measurement for more accurate readings of the temperature we would be using the four wire connection now that we have understood the working principle and construction of rtd let's see if you can help with the next problem we need temperature or we are measuring a temperature of a exhaust gas from a machine which needs to be measured by use of platinum rtd whose resistance is at 20 degree celsius is 100 ohm and resistance temperature coefficient is as given could you remove or calculate the resistance range of rtd needed to be connected in the bridge kindly pause the video and try to solve the sum on your own i hope that you have finished calculating we have to use the calendar van dusen equation where he have not considered the higher order values the delta t here is the temperature range that is we have to calculate from 20 degrees to 150 degrees and the platinum alpha and 20 degree values are given in the problem finally we get a range of the rtd from 100 to 150.96 ohms for a temperature range of 20 degrees to 150 degrees celsius the last part of this lesson is the advantages and disadvantages of rtd let's start with the advantages of rtd the first being high accuracy by this we mean the platinum rtd which is most commonly used has a linear relationship and gives accurate result it also depends upon the circuitry for the measurement which we have already seen through the presentation the second being the wide operating range the operating range for the standard rtd is from minus 200 degrees to the 660 degrees celsius the 660 degrees celsius is using the platinum rtd the third being the suitability for precision application that means because of high immunity to electric interferences and long term stability it gives very precise readings and that's why we could have or we could use the rtd for precision applications there are some disadvantages for rtd as well the first being expensive we would say it is expensive because rtd is a passive transducer it requires the usage of explicit electrical circuits to measure the current and in turn measure the resistance the second is rtd is subjected to inaccuracy for self heating this is because rtd itself is about change in resistance which in turn changes or directly proportional to the power which is generated across it and we know when we have increase in power we have heating effect and that is the reason that becomes a disadvantage for the rtd this finishes the lesson on resistance temperature detector thank you